Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10 Episode 7. This will be a review of the episode. Spoiler warning if you haven't seen the episode. Some big stuff happened. Some big things were revealed. So spoiler warning. Go check it out and then come back to this video. Also if you're a fan of The Walking Dead be sure to subscribe for more Walking Dead content. But with that being said let's get into it. Alright so I did like this episode. Um, I didn't love it or anything. I feel like there could have been more especially for an episode 7. I mean next week is the mid-season finale finale uh so that looks to be a pretty big episode but i still did like this episode um especially that ending and the whole dante and sadiq stuff that for me was the highlight of the episode i love that kind of stuff just the build up to that end um where it got i did give a spoiler warning so i'm gonna talk about it it got revealed that dante was a spy for the whispers the build up to that with the sadiq and alpha stuff and him hallucinating I love that. I thought it was really well done. The way they put those together, really creepy, really scary. I also thought Avi Nash, who obviously plays Sadiq, I thought he was great in the episode. Really good performance. Probably his best performance of um, of his time on The Walking Dead. I love like this scene, especially at the end when they showed Enid's death and his reaction to it, him talking to Rosita, everything like that. So he was really, really good in the episode. But yeah, that ending. So it got revealed that Dante was a spy for the Whispers. And I know this was like a theory already going around, but I never really expected it to actually happen. I don't know. I just never thought the Whispers would have a spy in the group, but it turns out it was. And and also, I didn't. I never really suspected Dante that much because he's charismatic. He's funny. Like all the other whispers are like very serious, and you know, just they don't have really have any charisma or anything like that. Uh, so maybe that's why Alpha decided to send him. Uh, but yeah, that was I, that ending when it got revealed that he was a whisperer was awesome. Now the episode ended with a bit of a cliffhanger, not a bit. It was actually a pretty big cliffhanger, and to me, because I don't know if Sadiq is dead or not. It ended off with him passing out after getting choked out, but he could have died there. So I don't know if he's dead, and if he's dead, that's gonna change everything because uh, Dante is gonna go back to being a spy. And I don't know what his plan is. I don't know what Alpha's plan is, but if Sadiq is actually dead, uh, that's gonna be really interesting. I hope not though. I hope Sadiq makes it out um, and tells everybody uh, because if, if that would definitely make the people who don't wanna go to war definitely would wanna go to war after that. Like if Sadiq survives and tells everybody what happened and Dante's a spy, and he was the one who did that to the people, got everybody sick with the water. Yeah, everybody who maybe didn't want to go to a war at first, especially like Michonne, I'm sure she's going to be like, oh, hell no. We are going to war with these people. That is not acceptable. So hopefully Sadiq survives and tells everybody what happened. And speaking of Michonne, we haven't really seen Michonne and those hilltoppers who went to Oceanside. So it's probably going to be next episode, but still, like... That was a little bit weird. It's been so long since we've seen them. But anyways, um, that for me, I just wish that's like for me, the biggest criticism for the season is like, I wish these episodes had more people on them. Uh, but and I, I feel like there should have been a little bit more excitement with the episode. Like I love like I said, I love the Dante and Sadiq stuff. But other than that, everything else was like interesting, but nothing exciting, if that makes sense. Like I like Carol beating the shit out of that whisper, don't get me wrong. But again, I do wish we got more out of that whisper. I wish he talked more about the whispers and what goes down there. Um and just I, I wanted to hear his like upper like uh, instead of him just being like, Yeah, I love Alpha, I love Alpha I don't know, I just felt like he could have like say more or something like that. But that was like really quick and fast. Uh, it was still really cool seeing Carol beat up the Whisper though. Um, and then that person in the trailer who we saw wrapped up, that was that Whisper. So at first I was thinking that this sickness that's going around would end up being fatal. Uh, but I don't know because I know also Rosita is like a really popular theory that to die, especially since she has a new show on Netflix and she's the star playing Selena. Uh, so I thought that maybe this is going to be a setup for her death. But she like she's sick, but she doesn't look like she's going to die or anything like that. So we'll see if she actually ends up dying because of the sickness or something totally different. Uh, but you guys let me know in the comments down below how do you think it's going to play out. Or do you even think she's going to die? Maybe she survives. Who knows? And in the Gamma and Aaron stuff, again, I wish there was more to that too. Because 
it had a good setup. Like I liked how Gamma was sort of listening to Aaron and understanding Aaron, and they were having conversations. Obviously, Alpha got pissed off about that. But as soon as Lydia came, she just ran off. So we'll see if that even meant anything in the future. That was just there for, I don't, I don't even know what. Like if that doesn't even go anywhere, the purpose of that wasn't really important because now she just ran off and is going back with Alpha. And I'm sure Gamma does feel threatened about Lydia. Uh, because uh, Lydia could come back and take her spot as Gamma. That could definitely happen because it's Alpha, Beta, Lydia. Uh, sh- uh, and Gamma doesn't exist in the comics. So I think it's stuff are playing out a little bit different in the TV show. So I think, you know, Lydia leaving, that introduced Gamma. And now Lydia coming back, uh, Gamma feels threatened about that. But we saw what happened at the end there. I like that ending too. Uh, when Lydia picked her side and went back to the Whisper border. Uh, I'm excited to see how that plays out and her mother's reaction to Lydia and all the other Whisper's reactions because I like Gamma's reaction, how shocked she was. So it's going to be really interesting to see how other people react because now they're going to think that Alpha's a liar and that's not going to be a good image for Alpha, you know, her people thinking she, she lied about killing Lydia. So can't wait to see how that plays out. Also, I have to say this because it's sort of been like, especially in this episode, I was like, it was sort of bothering me is that I feel like they aren't using Gabriel that good this season. They haven't, they don't, they haven't given him a good storyline. And you could make the excuse saying that he had a really good storyline in the last two seasons uh, during the Whisper or during like All Out War and the New Beginning with his eye and Negan and all that kind of stuff. But to me, that's not like a really good excuse because like this episode, he really was just following people around like that scene when uh, Carol and Daryl ran outside and they were having a conversation about getting to Lydia um, and using Lydia and Daryl said like, no, that kid's been through enough. They did like a cut, like the zoom out and the, the Gabriel was just standing there listening to the conversation. And I sort of laughed seeing that because like he was just standing there listening and he didn't even add anything really. And yeah, he talked here and there, but I just feel like they, they could have done more with Gabriel really because right now he's just standing in the background. And I talked about this in my previous video that honestly, I sort of forgot that he and Rosita are even in a relationship because they haven't been showing that for some reason. And I feel, and I don't know why they haven't, but I feel like they should. If anything, he could be tied into the Eugene storyline with the radio. I mean, that would be more interesting than just like going around Alexandria doing nothing. Because he, it's not like he's not in the episodes. He's in the episodes. He's just in the background. So uh, hopefully to do something. I, I like the Eugene storyline. I mean, Eugene also had a pretty good season when he was at the... Uh, the sanctuary, you know, he and Gabriel are both there. They both escaped together. So, I mean, Eugene got a good storyline uh, with the radio. Uh, and I think that they should tie in Gabriel to that, especially since last season they set him up uh, using the radios. And, you know, him and Eugene were the ones who were setting up the radios and going out and tying up the, like, the, uh, the satellites and stuff like that. So I feel like since they set that up in season nine, Gabriel should get that storyline in season 10. So we'll see if he gets it or not, but I'm hoping he does. And that would be more interesting, I think, uh, than just Eugene doing it solo. And then we can have two people doing that. And I think that would just be more interesting and fun that way. So yeah, like I said, even though this episode may have not been as exciting as an episode 7 could have been, it's still really good because they did a really, really good job building up these character arcs and these character storylines because... Like I said with the Dante and Sadiq stuff, I never thought that the Sadiq thing at the end of season 9 would build into this. And I am so amazed at what they did and just so happy because it's been like by far the most entertaining thing of the season so far to me. I mean, yeah, there's art, like Negan stuff is awesome. and uh, But the point is like the character stuff, like we're in the midst of a whisper war, but just seeing these the internal conflict among the communities, among the people is amazing but you guys let me know in the comments down below how did you feel about this episode did you like it what did you like about it what didn't you like about it did you see that dante twist coming did it surprise you uh what do you think is going to happen to sadiq do you think he's going to survive let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below but with all that being said i am going to wrap it up there for this video so hopefully you guys did enjoy be sure to stay tuned for my episode 8 trailer breakdown the mid-season finale i can't believe it's already here 
very excited about it so stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button again i am gonna wrap it up there so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did be sure to leave a like rating for more walking videos be sure to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later